Hello class, Mr. Fino here. Uh, this is Unit 1, Lesson 2 on Early Hominins. In this section, you will learn uh, what capabilities helped hominins survive. So hominins, early humans, what you know skills they had, what abilities they learned, and the things they did to help them survive. All right, so let's start with Mary and Louis Leakey. So uh, these two pictured here were a married paleoanthropology team that discovered Homo habilis skeletons and artifacts in Africa in 1959. Uh, so paleoanthropology is just very early uh, humans that they were studying. Um, in this case, Homo habilis. Uh, here we have a Homo habilis skull. And they believed that their findings were important to understanding humans of the past and present. And they were right because, you know, these, these early findings kind of kicked off lots, lots of other discoveries that would increase our knowledge of Homo habilis. All right, so let's talk about Homo habilis. So Homo habilis, what it means in Latin is handyman. Here I have a picture of what they likely look like. So Homo habilis lived about 2.4 to 1.5 million years ago, somewhere in that range. Homo habilis could walk on two feet, which allowed them to gather and carry food more easily and make simple tools. Um, and when we're saying simple tools, look at the picture here. Literally, they were literally rocks, just kind of slightly shaped rocks that would have allowed them to, you know, open up uh, bones and stuff. Uh, so Homo habilis likely lived in groups, which would have helped them survive. That's an important detail. Um, living in groups would have protected them against predators and stuff. Uh, making simple tools required great thought and effort. They used animal bones as digging sticks and rocks as cutting tools. So they would you know, use rocks to cut meat and animal bones to dig, dig into the, the ground, maybe to find bugs and stuff. I don't know. And they used tools to cut meat and get bone marrow from inside bones. So on the far right here, you can see what bone marrow looks like. It's the kind of the, the meat inside of bones. Today at, at restaurants, sometimes you can get bone marrow. It's kind of a delicacy now. Uh, next, we have Homo erectus. So in Latin, that means upright man. So, you know, they stood very upright. Here is a rendering of what they might have looked like. Uh, discovered in 1891 by Eugene Dubois on the island of Java off southern Asia. Uh, was where the first Homo erectus bones were discovered. Uh, they lived about 1.9 million years ago to 140,000 BCE. Um, so there might have been some overlap with uh, Homo habilis, but that's the span they lived. Uh, scientists believe they were the first hominin to migrate out of Africa or to move out of Africa. And they probably would have done this right in groups. Uh, they were tall, thin, strong, and they were good walkers and runners. Uh, their facial features look more like modern humans, so they're getting to be more like us. Uh, their larger brains allowed them to make more complex tools, like the hand axe made of stone. So the hand axe, it's, it's again, it's a stone, but it was more, um, you know, they were more intentional about how they, they carved it, you know, how they um, shaped it, pointed on the end, more dull on the where they would have held it to keep them from, from you know, cutting themselves. Um, but yeah, you know, making a complex tool requires a lot of thought. So they had larger brains, uh, burned animal bones near the remains suggest they use fire. So burned animal bones, you know, they were probably cooking their meat maybe. So finding that in their, their camp suggests they use fire. Uh, a discovery in Japan showed that they built oval huts with fire in the center, which is a pretty advanced sort of shelter. Um, which would have kept them warm, and they could adapt better to cold environments than some of the previous early humans. Here are some more pictures. Um, so, right, they were one of the first. They were the first hominin group to migrate out of Africa. Um, they cooked their meat. Here's a picture of what they probably look like, and that is a hand axe in the far right. So you can see it's pointed on the end, and then on the handle uh, side, it's more dull. Uh, next, we have Homo, Neanderthal, Homo neanderthalensis, okay, or Neanderthal man. 
so uh, Neanderthal man was discovered in 1856 by mine workers in Germany's Neander Valley. So that's where it get guy's name, right? Yeah, in Germany's Neander, Neander Valley. So that's how I got the name Homo Neanderthalensis. Uh, they had thick bones and a ridge above their eyes and were very closely related to modern humans. Uh, but they were shorter and stockier than modern humans. Um, they live from 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. So 40,000 years ago is not a long time. So there's definite overlap. Neanderthal was living at the same time as Homo sapiens, which is us. Uh, they created more complex tools like knives, scrapers, and spear points. So their, their tools were getting more advanced. Uh, they lived together, traveled in groups, and hunted in groups, which all helped them survive. So they were very uh, communal in how they worked together to survive. Uh, they may have had a sense of community performing burial rituals rituals for their dead. So that's pretty advanced. The fact that they would be having sort of, sort of like funerals shows that they cared about each other and they had a sense of community. Uh, evidence suggests they helped their injured and sick. All right, so they were empathetic and they wanted to help each other. Here are some other pictures. So this on the left is the Neander Valley in uh, Germany from which they got their name. Uh, again, here, here's a rendering of what they probably look like. And this picture shows them work, you know, living together in a group right, near a fire. All right, and our final uh, hominin is Homo sapien, or in Latin, that means wise man. In 1879, an eight-year-old girl in Spain discovered the first cave paintings created by Homo sapiens, um, which we learned about in the previous section. Uh, we first appeared about 200,000 years ago. Uh, we originated in Africa before spreading all over the world. Uh, early humans looked very much like us, but were not as well adapted to the cold uh, as we are. We have, you know, better clothes and better shelters to protect us from the cold. Uh, they needed to create better tools by attaching blades to bone, antler, and stone. So again, their their uh, tools are getting better, right? They've got a handle with blades and bone attached, you know, to these things. Uh, they built shelters of earth and stone, so they might have packed, you know, clay, earth, or built shelters made of stone. Uh, they were better hunters, making hooks and spears to fish as well as spear throwers and bow and arrows. Right, a bow and arrow would allow them, or a spear, would allow them to hunt at a distance, which is an important development. Uh, they created cave art that shows hunting that showed hunting scenes as well as scenes from their imaginations. So the, the, the ability to you know think creatively and have an imagination is, was an important step in the development of hominins. But a lot of the cave art that we talked about before had to do with hunting, right, and animals. And they had the ability to express their feelings through pictures and symbols, which led to more complex language. Um, right, we talk now, we speak. There's lots of languages around the world, but um, early Homo sapien was just learning how to express themselves, which eventually led to more complex language. Uh, here are some images showing them putting together some more complex uh, uh, shelters in the top left. You've got cave art in the bottom left some more advanced uh, spears, right, with a stick attached to maybe arrowheads of some sort, and then you've got uh, fishing hooks here. All right, so in conclusion, the summary here. In this lesson, we learned about the capabilities of four different hominin groups, right? That would be um, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, um, Homo neanderthalensis, and Homo sapiens. All right, thank you.